More than 180,000 people attended CES in Las Vegas to see the latest in consumer technology. From autonomous suitcases to a laundry folding robot, there were a lot of wacky gadgets making headlines throughout the week. Now, diversity and inclusion in tech is really important to me personally, so I couldn't help but notice the accessibility tech products in the show. These were designed for people with disabilities. One example is a pair of glasses from eSight that helps people who are legally blind to actually see, in some cases even better than people with 20-20 vision. And I can zoom in and read the letters of the hotel. That's Rosa Henderson, a coach for eSight and a user of the glasses herself. Um, I was born with visual impairment. With my corrected lenses, I'm only corrected to 20 over 200. Uh, for layman terms, that means I can see one line below the big E on an eye chart. eSight glasses have a camera on the front, which displays live images in a format that works for visually impaired eyes. Using a remote paired with the glasses, Henderson can control contrast, magnification, and focus. So now with the unit, I'm able to sit in a normal classroom. I can see the teacher, the board, the materials being presented in real time versus before I'd have to get the material printed in advance. And then after class, I'd have to sit with a tutor to go back over the materials. Henderson believes her disability negatively impacted her employment opportunities. Most of the time, I wouldn't get past the first interview. Her message to employers is to give applicants with disabilities a chance to prove themselves, especially now that technology is helping people with disabilities achieve more than they could before. You might be bypassing people with really great skill sets and not giving them the opportunity just because you think maybe they may not be able to do it. People have to be more open-minded that with technology the way it is now, that anybody can just do anything. The CES Innovation Awards actually have an accessibility category. This year's honorees included Wheels Autonomous Technology for Electric Wheelchairs. They're not sold yet, but the idea is that they'd be used at airports. A user would use an app to enter their destination, such as a Starbucks or a gate number, and the wheelchair would take them straight there. Another honoree was the prosthetic hand from Brain Robotics. Min Cheng Ni wore the product as part of a demo at CES. He's a Paralympian who lost his hands in an accident when he was just 10 years old. Sadness can give him unexpected uh, happiness because something he cannot imagine he can do right now, but with this can you can do it right now. These companies aren't the only ones thinking about accessibility. Tech giants in Seattle are thinking about this as well. Amazon, for example, offers features like the open dyslexic font on Kindle for people with reading disabilities. And Microsoft, of course, has made serious efforts to push accessibility initiatives. The company even sells the adaptive controller designed for gamers with limited mobility. I mean, I have a special needs child. I know that there are times when you know, things might not work the way everybody else, it works for everybody else. That was a Microsoft employee at CES speaking about the device, which was featured in a popular Microsoft ad during the holiday season. That commercial ended with the slogan, when everybody plays, we all win.